It's often useful to think of a rough design for your map product at the beginning. This is especially useful if your map will have multiple components, such as text, pictures, graphs, and so on. Map design is an iterative process. Though carefully planned designs at the beginning may not be exactly what the final map ends up resembling, it's still worth going through the exercise of thinking through the parts of your map. Now normally this iterative map design process is organic and you'll often need to experiment with designs for a while until the map begins to become well designed. However, you're at a disadvantage here for these labs because as a lab author, I have already designed the map I'm going to show you how to make, shown here. That doesn't mean that you can't make changes to improve upon the design, but in order for you to follow the instructions, you'll need to at least make the map as I describe, and then you can change it and make it your own later if you choose. So with that caveat in mind, we can start with discussing the rough map design. First, we need to consider the final map design, but focus on segmenting the page up for sets of items. If we generalize our map design to a rough idea of where things will go, we can create a sketch like this. And note that these measurements are nice round numbers. However, the final product doesn't need to follow these measurements exactly, as oftentimes things may need to be transformed slightly so the map looks right. Out of the entire rough map design, what we need to set in stone now is the size of the map body. The reason we need to set this is that when we compose the map in QGIS Composer, it's best if we can export the map in the exact dimensions that will be used by the final map design. By exporting in the exact dimensions, we can avoid having to scale the map, which may introduce artifacts. So for this lab, the map will be designed on a canvas of 220 millimeters by 205 millimeters. With the map layout roughly designed, we can now move towards creating the proportional symbol map in QGIS. We'll revisit this map design in task 4 when we put this map design into action in Inkscape.